It's time to begin a brand new arc of Razor where everything is going fine. Arc 1, the loot seller versus Elsa. We were able to overcome her pride and ask Reinhardt for help and everything is fine and Reinhardt got a little bit of that lolly. Arc 2, so much trauma, so much despair. But hey, we have Rem now, even though Subaru doesn't seem to really be romantically engaged to Rem. Like, she has... The affection meter is on another level right now. She would do anything. And even, in fact, the uh, Memory Snow OVA that we just watched... <laughs> Sasuga Subaru-sama! Like, Rem had so many cute lines, but it is, like, complete night and day, this character Rem, as we know, before we start, you know, in the beginning of Arc 2 and at the end of Arc 2. And now, we just had, you know, Memory of Snow, the whole snow festival, everything is so happy, happy. Betty seemed a little sad. There's something there with Betty that we have not yet really figured out, and I'm sure that's going to play into Betty's backstory and important characterizations in the future arc. And... The spoilers were pretty negligent. These are just the characters that we've already seen. I'm assuming that the other than the cult members, right? The cult members were also aside enjoying the little bit of the snow. But then, you know, we had like that red hair girl, the green hair girl with the cats and other stuff like that. So here we go. I'm just going to assume that they're royal selection, you know, throne people. We're entering a New York Re Zero. Let's start. Victory! Victory! Yo, we still Yo, doing the uh, radio calisthenics. <laughs> Amelia always wears this onesie out there, huh? And like, I think this may go back to what I said before when I was theorizing why Amelia was like hesitant to be shown with Subaru in the village. And I thought at the end of the day, it had to do with the stigma and the discrimination of someone that looks like Satala. But... I don't know, is that why she's wearing the ones here? To try to like hide her appearance? I, I don't know what that's about, but that should happen in Memory of Snow too. It's not just like a cute onesie. <laughs> 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 yeah. I remember, that purple hair girl is still missing, bro. Is she gonna show up in the future or something? Like, I swear to God, if she can activate Subaru's dormant curses, because like all the witch fiends are gone, but like that girl, I don't know if she has the ability to, but like. She just disappeared, man. Oh, 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 oh. You bought time. You were useful. I think he was. Obviously, Roswell showed up and carpet bombed the entire forest and got rid of them. But yeah, I think you did, Sus. You do a lot. Like us. We know the full truth. Me. Immediaton EM. What is it gonna be? Immediaton is EMP. Immediaton is mega perfecto cringe. Oh! The guy that I said looks like a Sebastian, right? Look at him, butler. So dignified and elegant. What faction does he belong to? Oh, he, he looks pretty dignified, right? Like, I look at him, I sense, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna like this guy. He seems cool. He seems, his, like, his demeanor overall is great. And, like, the butler types, the older butler types, it's good to get, like, older dude representation. Emissary. Okay. Some politics involved. Royal selection, here we go! Yes. Into the main plot. I'll try not to do anything stupid. I feel like you're gonna fucking embarrass us as usual. <laughs> he doesn't even have a chance to fuck him up. <laughs> Super, this is an important big boy meeting. You know, you're a good kid. You sit out here, okay? We'll be back. Yikes. Hey, let's go talk to the old guy. Yeah, you look good, bro. Oh, some tea. I low-key wanted to shit on Subaru's tea-making skills because he probably makes like the best tea ever as a butler. <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> what the fuck is this commentary? <laughs> hmm... Feels like I'm indulging in a great luxury. Going back into my past, I remember my old marriage drinking this tea. Okay. <laughs> Buttering up this old man with precious bait. 
I don't know. I, you seem like important. I don't know. I just want to be nice. I 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 want to be nice. Cringe. Close as in an owner and her dog. Not really love or romance, but go ahead. Steep path. It is gonna be the queen. She's aware, he's aware. Yosha san wa, oku san wa sekai ichi kawaii kamo shire. Kou moushikonda li shinakatta ndesu ka? Naru hodo. Anata no yuu tori da. Okay. Tsukushii to omotte imashita. Buttering up again? Tadaima abiruji. Old man though. If I say cat girl, what are you gonna say as NPCs? <laughs> Bro thinks cat girl? 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 I just want you to know you are all pre programmed fucking robots ready to fucking emote and react exactly in the way that I expect you to do, okay? So when we say cat girl, that's right. <laughs> you don't know it's a boy, it's a trap. <laughs> So is this a fucking royal candidate as well? Like, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, indeed. Ah, yeah, indeed. Ah, yeah, indeed. We got a cat. All right, we got the cat puns. We got the cat puns. Yeah, indeed. I see. Oh, she talks about me? Nothing. Will. Is name is Will? I don't, I don't know... I, I, the Royals candidate? I, 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 I honestly don't know anything, but uh, she's calling her Emilia Sama with respect, obviously, because she's, you know, uh, uh, one of the chosen ones, but between old man Will and this cat boy, pretty interesting new people. I have no clue what faction they are, though. <laughs> I feel like you should sit back, bro, like... Like, what do you think you are right now? Like, her, like, right-hand man? Kind of, I guess. To him. But, like, uh, I don't think, like... The grown-ups need to have a talk. You should just sit and be a good boy, Subaru. Hmm. guy. Let's go, Rem. Rem just wanted the head pat. She capping right now. Rem just wanted the head pat there. Most brilliant uses of water magic. One of the capitals most. Now Rao is still number one, but okay, the cat? Brilliant user of water magic. Okay. Oh, that was all for Subaru? So the emissary, the cat showed up. Amelia was able to coerce the cat into like helping Subaru and healing. Like that was all that? Emilia, That's nice. Yeah, yeah. Remember, it's always for me. It's not like I care about you. Everything I do is in my own selfish interest, which is such a fucking lie. She's ter she's a terrible liar. So this dude literally just drives and takes care of the cat trap? Yo, my man is like living the life. He's just like a retired dude, chilling as a butler, and just like, you know, dragon carriage driver for like a cat trap, like... Old man Will is just like straight up living the dream. I like him. Made a good impression on him. Oh, true. I was too... I was too like, I don't know, caught up in all the... Just the funny stuff and slice of my life moments going on, but like, yeah, Subaru is, you know, he's died multiple times. And old man will, I have a, I, not an I have a killer, but like, I have someone that's, you know, gone through death or like has experienced death around. Wilhelm van Austria! Yo! Wilhelm's Reinhardt's grandfather. Grandfather? Grandfather? I think he's too old to be dead. Von Austria, that's the Sword Saint family. In his epithet, his title, the Sword Demon. 
Really? Okay, how strong is this guy? How strong is th I mean, every Von Austria are just gonna be Giga Chads, absolutely, but like, the sword demon, eh? Okay. Bro, that's so important lore. Von Austria fucking mentions. Now, Subaru, if he's already taken a liking to Subaru because he has like, you know, eyes well versed with death, but I wonder if this is like an opportunity where we can like train, because like, I think we missed out not being trained by Roswell. I guess Puck kind of helped out for a bit regarding magic, but it's not like we could have done much because the like, gate sucks, but like swordsmanship, like anyone can pick up a sword, right? Can Subaru please learn from this guy? More CGI. Oh, holding hands! Oh my god. Again, not a boyfriend and a girlfriend holding hand, but a mom that's afraid that this little shitter is gonna run off in the fucking grocery store and I gotta find him later. Rem just has permanent beer goggles on for Subaru. It doesn't matter what Subaru will do, Rem will always just guys. Sasuga <laughs> Subaru Imagine he straight up died like this. Like, th this might have been one of the most, Im like, embarrassing deaths. Like, what else? What else? Uh, fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, you know, the, remember the bandit death when we fucking walked into a knife? Like, that was fucking embarrassing. If he died here, that would have been even more embarrassing. This is a divine protection of Windbreaker. All right, you redeemed your points to explain me to the lore of this. All right, what is Windbreaker? Letting the carriage have no wind resistance inside of the space. Subaru's arm was caught outside of that. So, all right, you're just being a fucking idiot. Thank you for the lore. <laughs> you are a kid to her. <laughs> remember, remember? 12 years old, rounded up to 13, in memory of Snow, when Subaru asked Amelia, how old do you think I am? <laughs> and it's actually so sad that the date literally got fucking off screen. And the only way you could see the date is if you went to the fucking casino. And <laughs> you guys have already seen the date reaction, but like, <laughs> why do they do that? They straight up just like cancel a date and put that shit behind the pachinko machine. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I want the Appa guy to be like cult member. I, I want this dude to be like an important character. Maybe not cult member, but I want him to be like the fucking sage or the hero that like sealed the witch away a long time ago. Straight like I want him to have some sort of like lore importance, man. No, 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 no. The Grand Wizard is Roswell. We've been winning. Roswell is the Grand Wizard of the cult, but Appa guy, like, who knows? Maybe he was the past hero or sage. <laughs> Reinhardt broke that family apart, kidnapped the girl because he's a lolicon and Romji is just so sad and no repairs were done to his fucking loot cellar either. Yeah, he took the girl away! Yes! Reinhardt took the girl away and felt like, call the cops, please, someone help! And Reinhardt's like, <laughs> I am the police. Yeah, was that a little bit of envy there? Yeah, was that, was that a little bit of envy there from Subaru? Hot guy sure gets special treatment? Mm, okay. That's right. You're just here to greet people. I just have a feeling he's gonna fuck shit up as usual, bro. Like, we're, t we're, we're things are too happy right now, you know? <laughs> Something terrible is, should happen, because, like, it's always like this, where everything, at the ends of an arc, right, everything's happy, happy, happy ending! Woo! What about Natsuki Subaru, I suppose? And then New York starts, and it's just like, oh, shit, we're at fucking rock bottom. This whole thing of the Royal Selection thing seems to be very important, obviously. Subaru is not supposed to be here. You're supposed to only greet the people that, you know, you helped you out. And that's it. You let the grown-ups do the grown-up talk, do not get yourself get involved. But you know his fucking pride and his ego is gonna fucking make him go in and fuck shit up, right? Oh. New character? Ikemen. Hot guy!
<laughs> you see Superman's hand? Did you see that? As soon as a hot guy showed up? You just let go of my hand reflexively? What, you don't want me, me what, do you, what do you mean, what the fuck? Wait, what's his name? Udius, okay, Udius. Is he some sort of knight? He must be, right? He got that knight outfit like Reinhardt does. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! But this is not, I, I, well... Like, if someone did that in modern life, in like a modern rom-com, like, I would think like this guy's kind of creepy, he's got ulterior motives, but like... This is back in the day with like knights and chivalry and shit, so I'm gonna go out on the limb and say there's no disingenuous feelings here, he's just being a gentleman. Alright? <laughs> 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 and you know what the saddest thing here is? Is that between these two, that was just a formal greeting and a show of respect from a knight to a candidate who was going for the throne. But Subaru thinks that he got cucked there. He thinks that, like, that was some sort of, like, romantic gesture or her accepting Julius. Well, I wonder if he understands that there's just, like, politeness and, like, mannerisms in this high society, but, eh, who knows, man. <laughs> Damn, replaced. Damn. He, he's right, though. No, Julius is right. Like, this is very rude. Right? He just showed up and did polite gestures, and yeah, he did kiss Amelia's hand and said, you look so pretty. For sure you could think that, like, he's trying to raise Amelia, but I feel like that's just polite mannerisms with chivalry attached to it. Subaru is just giving the death stare at a guy who's probably someone super fucking important. Like, don't fuck this up, bro. Stop, stop. Okay, that's kind of funny. I thought he'd be kind of cringe. This is kind of funny. Yeah, they got no clue what that is. Thank you. Then... Meteor! Meteor! Is that what you said? Meteor! Wait, 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 you stay outside. Subaru is a bad feeling. It's a good feeling, but... Would you do this? Emil, let me go. He did not go blue. No, it was a little peck as a sign of respect and formality in this high society of chivalrous night. Be good and wait, little dog. Now you need to ch you need to literally tie him up. He's a fucking dog right now, and he's about to run straight. Just tie him up to a fucking pole and let him just wait here, bro. Like he's gonna fuck something up. I don't feel good about this. Like his entire attitude right now is so twisted because of Julius. This. Pride and this fucking envy is going to result in something bad happening, man. It looks like all these carriages are. So, they call this a dragon carriage. Huh? I guess it's fitting that it's, you know, the kingdom of the dragon Lunica, right? So, like. I guess, you know, just, just make note that every, every carriage has like a fucking dragon running on it. Oh. Oh shit! Damsel in distress! <gasps> Damsel in distress! Subaru, go help! They're back. <laughs> they're back! <laughs> the three old fans they're still alive! <laughs> Alright. Commoners! Oh my god. Oh my god. God, fools with no character pick fights for the most foolish of reasons. Commoners. She gotta be someone super fucking important, bro. Like, holy, she just called them commoners, peasant. Uh, honey? Is this cringe or is this cool? I can't tell. Because he's saving a girl that probably didn't need help but to him look like a damsel in distress. Therefore, is putting on this act of like, oh yeah, we're going out and I'm here to pick you up. It's kind of both, right? It's, it's like, like this is hero, but he doesn't know that she probably doesn't need it. It's... Oh! Yeah, he deserved that shit. <laughs> you can't just touch her, bro! She seems so important, man! She took offense to that. Damn. Oh my god, just say monkey, girl.
Literally, if, 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 if this girl just said monkey instead of commoner, it's like, she's me. <laughs> Cringe, bro. This is not a cutscene. Like, hold up. Hold the fuck up. Dial it back. So when Yuki says, oh, this is supposed to be the cutscene where the big bro walks into the little sister and every one of you are like, peek, peek, wood, wood, wood. <laughs> So, okay, when Yuki pulls that card, it's fine. But when Subaru says, oh, it's a scenario where I save a girl from the hoodlums, you guys are like, L, cringe, boo. Come on, guys. Where, where's the consistency, guys? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, it's the bandits. <laughs> Dumb, dumber, and dumbest. <laughs> he remembers us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of the idiot, I kind of like him the most. <laughs> I kind of liked him most. And yes, this is the capital's only three bandits, bro. You gotta fucking let them do their job. <laughs> she doesn't even consider us on her team. This new girl is very interesting. Her entire demeanor is very elitist because she seems pretty important. Just look at her, right? Even hiding her facial remarks as she sneers down with the fan, calling us commoners. And three on one on one. She's very fiery, right? She's very like. Dominance. That happened last time, right? Why, why are you bringing in the fucking Korra and fucking delinquent accent out of nowhere? <laughs> Romji! Yo, everyone's here! Nice to see you, Romji. <laughs> I hope we meet them again. I, hope, I, I, don't, I honestly, I don't, I, I, I honestly do not hate them, bro. Like, I, I, I genuinely don't really hate them. They're funny at this point. In fact, if they were somehow like, I, I don't know, like maybe they'll have like an important role of helping us out in the future in a dumb way, but I enjoy them. No, I think that the red girl could have probably handled it alone. I, I think so. I think you literally stepped in and made it worse. Damn. Huh? She has unique skill, the chosen one? The fuck? This world is designed to operate in a way that works best for me. Now, is this just like pure narcissism and delusion? Or is this like an actual thing where the world does bend to her will? Really? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Ramji, you should have called the cops a long time ago. Reinhardt has her in a fucking cellar. Yeah. Astria Astria. The sword saint? Lolly yeah. saint. Okay. Oh. What was that all about? It had to be a Rastria. What was that about Reinhardt? It, it had to be an Astria, eh? Because obviously, Felt is a chosen one because the insignia glowed red. And Reinhardt is the backer, right? Sponsoring Felt like Roswell sponsors. Uh, Emilia, so isn't this a good thing? this past history. Yeah, uh, okay. Ramji, thank you for the advice, but you and I both know that this fucking idiot's gonna do something stupid by the end of this episode. Emilia. Oh, what the hey, it's that guy! It's the Dark Souls helmet, dude! He is stupid. Yes. <laughs> a man's heart is so complex, it's a thrill to watch. More worried about losing you to another man than happy to see you. Yeah, that's, you know, his pride and, and display. Nah, fuck him up. Subaru deserves a fucking up right now. Oh. Oh. Where's the helmet? Lost child. Yeah.
yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, a naked dude with just like a mantle on with the helmet is kind of sus. Rude, but he's not wrong. Who are you? Amelia hiding behind. Amelia doesn't like her. She's intentionally hiding behind this. Hmm. There's something up here. There's something up here. I'm just gonna assume that because of the fucking designs, she is the other, like, royal chosen one selection stuff. So, like, maybe there's, like, past history, some rivalry. She's scared of this girl. Who knows? Appa. You want one? She is such a privilege than a rich girl. Because every time someone has cut the apple, she doesn't know that the apples actually have a red. That's a next level of privilege. Oh my god. God, Ojo Sama! Rich, rich. That's kind of cute. All right, she's super rich girl to the point where she's a little ditzy with common facts like this because she's never lived a common life. Okay, you want one? All right. I think that was pretty good. Yeah, he is usually always fucking cringe. Yes, but like this one moment with the apple. I, I, I think that was pretty good. I, I think the charisma was there. <laughs> Give credit where it's due. Yo, what's that girl? Who is she? Back alley. <laughs> I saw her getting mugged. Nah, not jealous. Not, not jealous. I doubt it. What? what? Because she must be another candidate for the throne. And if we've already been, like, I don't know the relationship between their responses and our responses, but if there was, like, previous drama or hostility or whatever reason for us to not be associated with them, then this would have looked bad on a political level, but because Subaru didn't know it's fine, what, what's the implication here? Oh. What's he doing? Is he scratching his head through a helmet? What's he doing? I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, she really didn't. She really didn't trust him. She's like, honestly, I, I, I would have expected her to say something like, what? Appas are usually just like cut into different shapes, right? That's not a, a round thing. That's not an appa. They're white and they're coming like different shapes because some probably like peeled it and cut it for her. But like, okay, she realizes that it's an appa. Yes, you're grounded. Yeah, because you can't be in person. Yes, he will. Yes, his pride will do something stupid. No, but you don't realize, you idiot. You're out of place. There is big, important politics shit going on. And you want to help improve your worth. But now is not the time, bro. You got to sit down. That is the fucked up thing. He wants to push himself. He wants to prove. Look at me. I'm valuable. I can do this for you. But it's counterproductive. This desire to prove himself often just fucks himself over and it's just counterproductive. You're grounded. Promise. Yeah, show it Rem, bro. Rem would appreciate that. Give me reason to trust you. We cannot break this promise. We gotta sit tight, just chill with Rem. All he has to do is sit in this goddamn room, eat some appas with Rem, give her a head pat, sleep, and then, hey, things might be good, but like... <laughs> You know if they're going out of their way to explicitly state this and continuously have Subaru wanting to, you know, go in. <sighs> We're gonna fucking break our trust at this rate. Now, what's really interesting is how Roswell was perfectly fine. 
And you would think that he wouldn't take any risks as a guy that declared that no one can fuck this up. Like, we need to get the throne. Emilia must win so I can kill the dragon. But he was the one of the other people that was like, oh, Subaru can come to the fucking city and just do his thing. He was very lax about it. So, like, I wonder if that was just an off chance thing, if there's no consistency and behavior here, or if he's fucking cooking up something. Is he expecting Subaru to fuck up? Is he basically expecting Subaru to maybe turn over a new leaf and be a good boy? I don't know. <laughs> Chill with Rem, bro. You're not helping Amelia, though. You think you're helping, but this is like not helping. But maybe I'm wrong, right? Maybe I'm being a little bit too much of a downer. I'm just going this route because I've seen Subaru try too hard and fuck shit up before over and over. So I'm, ex I'm expecting the same shit to happen right now, but... What if there's a chance that there's an assassin in the fucking meeting and Subaru shows up and, you know, he actually does clutch and was like, whoa, he's so cool. Maybe he could have a heroic moment like that, but that shit usually happens in other isekais where there's not serious consequences, you know? And ReZero has shown me that there's a lot of consequences, so we'll see. Gee. Staring at Rem. Stare. Rem's gonna fold. This is chain of memories. This is fucked up. Why you play the song when Rem tortured Subaru right now? Stop it, bro. I don't know if this is a good thing. So where's, where's Ram at right now? Is she at home? Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna turn my... I'm too busy. Wow, it'd be such a bad thing if someone got out the house right now, but I wouldn't know because I'm busy. Rem is always gonna be on Subaru's side. You are a scumbag, bro. Rem deserves better. Straight up, I think that Rem is great, but I hate how she gets treated by Subaru, bro. I hate that shit. I hate that shit, bro! Sneak in. <laughs> fucking break in. Have the entire meeting happen. Bust in through a fucking window. Get arrested by the fucking knights. Make a fool of yourself. Fuck it. Bust in. Shout Amelia. Suddenly the suspicion is an Amelia because this random dude tried to fucking break into somewhere important and he gets fucking jailed and Amelia gets disqualified out of the fucking selection war, bro. Imagine. Like, there's so many ways that could go wrong. Hitchhike. What? What? <laughs> Also, this dragon carriage is super bougie. Like all the other carriages, they're not as flashy as this one. Yeah, who's in this? Ah, oh my god, we're going in with. How does this look? How does it look from other people's perspective, especially Amelia's faction, if someone associated with Amelia is now showing up with the other faction, right? Because you know how I said how Amelia was like, did you know? Oh, you didn't know. Fine. Remember when we were walking back after the back alley shit? So I was like, well, maybe this other girl is from a different, you know, political faction, which she clearly is at this point, right? And then you're hanging out with her, and it's like a bad look for us. Who knows what's going on between those two? What's her name? Priscilla. <laughs> Even her name is rich. Yo, you know your girl's name is Priscilla. You know she at least upper middle class minimum. Minimum. She so bougie. Amusing. Wonder if she realizes that Subaru is Amelia's side and she is using him right now to kind of make Amelia look bad. I could totally see that too.
I don't really know completely what this girl is all about, but clearly everything works in her favor, right? Advantage. He was always going to be in the place of advantage. So was that lucky for her or for us? Think about that. Because when we call the hitchhike, isn't this advantageous for her? So was that the luck or the skill coming at play or was that just bullshit moment? I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm reading too deep into it, but I'm like trying to test like... How legit is what she said? Is she just a rich, pompous asshole that just thinks that she's like, like above everybody and therefore people will always obey her? Or like, was that actually like a passive skill happening? Some sort of blessing or divine protection? She says it again! Yeah, and I don't think Priscilla's favor is gonna be Amelia's favor at this rate. This is gonna be bad, bro. However, if I had to name a reason other than amusement to use you to make Amelia look bad is my assumption. Now, do you think that is just the co- like, um, in terms of coincidences, like Subaru has just found the royal candidate three times now, just out of fucking nowhere. Felt was one, back alley. Amelia shows up. Priscilla, she just finds your back alley. Like, what the fuck? Is that just writing inconsistency because he's a main character and he has to be revolved around these, you know, main important other supporting characters? Or is he just a fucking magnet? They're all back alley girls, bro. Bingo. I'm a handler. We're a clown. <laughs> We're a fucking Appa handler. This new job just got created. Subaru is the first Appa handler. This guy looks like Dial from uh, As their superior, it is my privilege to keep the masses waiting. And as an egomaniac narcissist myself, you guys are going to now wait while I go take a piss break. And it is your privilege that you're going to be waiting. All right, I'm back. I'm back. The dragon. There's like a light side and a dark side. What is, what is this attire, bro? Are these cult members that's, you know, infiltrated the palace? <laughs> the look on other people is not looking good. The, I don't know who these dudes are, but these are probably the knights. I don't know what the fuck these are. These magicians. <laughs> Amelia, <laughs> shocked. But like, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Roswell! Roswell! So does this, like, am I reading too much into random fucking frames? Or like, is he happy about this? What do you think is going on? Is this all according to Roswell's plans? Did he want this shit to happen? Or is he just finding amusement in this? I'm not sure. <laughs> Appa handler. Oh, yo. Uh-oh. You broke her trust. You <laughs> broke the promise. <laughs> not like this, dude. Not like this. Priscilla planned this shit. Priscilla wanted to use him to get on Amelia's nerves. <laughs> oh, man. Half-wit? She's probably super racist too, right? Filthy mudblood. You half elf. Evil. Like, Priscilla is a menace. Roswell never skips a beat, bro. He was ready with that shit immediately, ready to fucking defuse the situation. Mm. Half wit, though. They do not get along. I don't know what the fuck happened in the past, but these two are oil and water. And Priscilla's design, listen. I like fiery girls. I like, like, strong girls. Like, this girl is strong, confident, just... Ugh. I like Priscilla, even though Amelia's getting shit on right now. He's a bad boy. You broke the promise. Kenjin Council of wise men. Wise men relates to sages. Remember, sage, a hero slash sword saint, and a dragon sealed the witch. Which one of you sealed? Oh! 
the hair went to his eyebrows. Oh my god, that's, that's the strongest eyebrows I've ever seen in my fucking life. He looks like a bird, bro. Looks like a fucking penguin. I'm not so sure I can call him bald. This is the first time I'm apprehensive of calling someone clearly bald bald because of the eyebrows. I will give him the pass. He is not bald due to the eyebrows. But the guy behind, fuck you, bald. Politicians? Russell, does it not seem like he's in enabling Subaru? Like, he's totally fine with it. He's not even punishing Subaru for being with Priscilla. He's, like, happy about it. He's, like, joking about it. Even the look when everyone, sh you know, Subaru showed up. Everyone was like, oh, oh, and me was like, oh, and Russell was like, <laughs> why? Wait, does he want shit to go wrong here? Does he want Amelia to look bad? I thought you want Amelia to win the throne. How does this work in your favor? Oh? I don't get it. His goal, winning this... Whatever. Oh! They gotta be the other candidate, right? Because we've already seen all three of them in the openings and the end of Memory Snow. Um, well, this girl was with uh, the cat boy. This one on the left, I remember small other cat with orange hair. And now we know Priscilla, right? I mean, as, like, like she's, Amelia's mad, but like, as long as we just like, you know, tell her what happened. We just met her good, you know, it, it, it wasn't good intention. We're going to get away. So it looks like Subaru's mishaps are going to stop for now. And you can just be benched here. Where's Felt? You locked her up. You broke apart Ramji's family, you monster. <laughs> He's a knight too? Well, I'm assuming knight because Reinhardt and Julius both wear this outfit. I thought he was a, a strong magic water user healer. Him? <gasps> Felix Argyle. What do you mean, what's the point? The banana makes it better. It's the whole... Catboy trap, that's the entire point. Julius. What's up, Ikemen? I straight up don't even think Julius is being unreasonable. Like, I think he gives a nod of like respect of like, oh, hey, nod. And Subaru just like snarls at him like a fucking mad dog. I don't think Julius is a bad guy here. Subaru, nah, no. Romantic rival my ass! Oh, this guy's the leader of the Imperial Knights? Meaning like, he's even like better than like, well, not better than Reinhardt, but in terms of like position rankings, like this guy is the leader of the Imperial Knights, Marcos. Marcos! Credits are rolling! Marco's immediately getting thrown under the bus by this little lolly. What the fuck? Time is money? I, all right, get your bag, girl. Kansai dialect in that different accent. That's interesting how it just kind of went like that. But she's from Karadagi and uh, they're all about money hustling there. All right. Karsten Head family. This is so. I'm gonna forget names, but I'll remember them later. So this is Krush. Did we get the purple hair girl's name? I don't think so. But she's all about money and time. This is Krush. Karsten family head. No, 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 no. She is the Karsten family head, the purple girl, right? Because Krush is saying, "Hey, Krush, is it right for the Karsten family head to say something like that?" Actually, I'm, I'm not sure anymore. What, what did, what did Kush say? <laughs> I agree. Got it. So she is Karsten family. I'm parrying my brain cells right now. Chill the fuck out. She is Krush Karsten. <laughs> Skip the small talk. Microtoft. <laughs> 
I thought she was cooking. <laughs> I thought she was cooking. He's like, no, no, it's not at all. <laughs> Yikes, embarrassing. Felix fucking baited us? Oh no, Chris looks stupid now. Felix, how could you? The recovery. The smooth recovery. Okay. She immediately apologizes, retracts, and moves on. Okay, okay. She nice rebound. <laughs> no one respects Amelia, bro. Half wit, Priscilla said. And then this purple girl just shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Giga chat out. Giga chat out. Immediately defuse the situation. Even save Subaru here. I think he straight up realized that Subaru might be fucking up. And also, what is that neck? Do you see his neck here? I see lines. It reminds me of a dragon's head. You know, those fucking cart riding dragons? I don't know if this is supposed to be bandages or wrapping. Anyways. Al here literally defuse the situation and then saves Subaru's ass and then immediately boom makes himself this is an AoE taunt. This is literally Al saying, I can return to death! Boom! AoE taunt focuses on him now. It's so funny how the beginning of this argument started was saying time is important. And they literally circled back after like five minutes of yapping and wasting everyone's time. And now Marcos can say something. If no one said anything, we would have gotten over with it. What a fucking waste of time. <laughs> Dragon's Priestess. Wait, a new prophecy has been engraved in the dragon's stone. What do you mean new prophecy? Who engraves those? Five. Belt. Belt. Covenant with the dragon. Bring the lolly out. Yo, he got his own player ready. Ah, oh, shit. Kenjin Kai no Minasama. Kono Kishitai Shodok. Line Harto Ban Astoria. Nimu Kai. Behold! He has never been the allegations. Unless these girls also work for the palace. You tell me he has extra lollies to help the lolly he kidnapped? What is going on with the Astria family? The queen. Yo, in memory of snow, Reinhardt was literally chasing Felt down. You could see out from the outside of the windows, and this was a dress that he had. Like, oh, come wear this! And Felt's like, oh my god, save me, Ramji! No, Felt-sama to Felt-sama! And is that it? And that's the episode, man. Completely new arc, and it's looking fucking amazing. The royal selection is happening, and what is the new prophecy? Five dragon priestesses, and one of them will choose be chosen to enter a covenant with a dragon. Who knows what that really means? Remember the pact as well, right? Because whatever the pact was with the old royal family, that return of investment, that promise has yet to be fulfilled, and the next person that comes to the throne is responsible for that. And again, Roswell's best interest is for Amelia to win so that he can kill the dragon. Why is Roswell letting Subaru be a clown here though? Clearly, this is somehow going to help Roswell achieve his goals. So even though it feels counterintuitive, I'll let Roswell cook unless I'm going nowhere with this theory. Now, I, the wording of the new prophecy is kind of sus. Like, when did the prophecy show up? Like, you just engraved that yourself? Also, why is it always just girls that are supposed to be dragon priestesses, right? I don't know who chose that. Maybe they just wanted to have a reason to have a bunch of waifus, but it is what it is. Amongst the selection candidates, I love Priscilla the most if we discount Amelia. If we're going to think about purple hair, green hair girl, and, and orange hair girl... 
Priscilla has so much personality, and I do enjoy a little bit of the mysteries of what she said about how everything is advantageous. I hope that it's an actual fucking passive. I hope it's something like the chosen one, unique skill in Tensura, where Masayu can just go around and everything just fucking works out for him. But amazing world building, and the stage is set. What is the stage set for? To super to fuck up everything, do something stupid next episode, and god damn it, it's like. All you have to do is stay outside, bro. But hey, maybe he's gonna clutch next episode. Who really knows? That's it for me. If you're still here, though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.